Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play. <laughs> Let's 100%. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In the last episode, well, let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look at our journal and see what we have been doing. Scheduled for execution. Valen Dreth is dead, and no guards have been killed. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward as well as a bonus. We are swimming along in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Again, I don't want to finish the entire thing right off of the bat. There's so many things to do in Oblivion, and I just I just feel like it's much better to spread them out as opposed to just do them in one fell swoop like we've been doing with the other Let's Plays. I literally am walking past you, sir. How is that disturbing you, sir? Excuse me, sir? Yeah, I don't care who you are. I ain't talking to you. You ain't from around here, so push off. Gonradel can teach you about acrobatics for a price. Of course, she'd rather be training her dogs. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. So you actually did help me out, you stupid bitch. All right, Stop see you later. Talking. Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, ironically from a guy who thought I was rudely interrupting him, yeah, we've got a ton of stuff to do, and we want to spread it out. Um, all of the Oblivion quests are so sweet. I know I keep mentioning this, but everybody says how great the Oblivion quests are, and I totally agree. I absolutely agree. I love, like, almost all of them as if they are my children, that I forget their names sometime. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a ton of stuff to do, but there is one thing that I do want to get from the Dark Brotherhood, and that's what we are going for here before we stop for a second. So let's head back down here. Hello, Vicente. So, you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the scales of pitiless justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A powerful tool indeed. You guys couldn't work out the kinks. You guys couldn't just, like, remove the, the personality debuff. That's okay, I suppose. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, those scales of pitiless justice. They should be in our miscellaneous. There they are. Scales of pitiless justice. Uh, quite interesting because literally it's just a scale. Like, it's just a, a scale that you have in your inventory. And while holding them, I guess we should be able to find them in our active effects, shouldn't we? Uh, if we go over here... Yeah, if we take a look, we should have something with these scales. It looks like, okay, shrouded hood and shrouded armor. So even though our armor is broken at the moment, uh, it looks like we still get the bonuses. We just don't get the armor rating. Okay, so we should have scales of pitiless justice somewhere here. There we go. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's just a singular effect. Scales of pitiless justice. Ability strength, agility, intelligence plus two. Personality minus two. And that's actually just a, a benefit to us. And we could remove the scales from our inventory, which would take this out. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. Well, tell me about this, Vincenti. We can talk about anything. We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I accept. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottieri. Inside you will find Mottieri waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottieri is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people, so they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the enforcer's presence. Mottieri himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Well... I just broke into the Imperial Prison, which apparently no one had done for a hundred years, so I think I'm fine. Tell me about this special arrangement. The Dark Brotherhood is not in the business of staging deaths, no matter how much gold is offered. Sithis demands blood, and blood must be paid. In order to accept the contract, we demanded a life. Motiere offered his mother, and we accepted. Lucien has already taken care of that... Uh, detail. 
what a piece of shit offering up his own mother in exchange for his own life. Horrible. Tell me about this poison knife. The blade has been coated with a rare poison called Langer wine. One drop in a normal human bloodstream will mimic the effects of death immediately. I have provided you with a vial of antidote, which will be used to revive Francois Mottieri after you successfully stage his death. You should also know that there's only enough Langer wine on the blade for this one contract. After Mottieri is sliced, the knife will be useless. Of course it will be. Makes you wonder why we've never heard of Langer wine before in another Elder Scrolls game. Well, at least before Morrowind, because I have never played one or two, but I intend on it. I intend to? Intend on it's kind of odd to say. The knife I gave you has been coated with a rare poison called Langer wine. You need only cut Mottieri once and he will appear to die. Okay, looks like that's all we're getting from Vincenti. Thank you very much. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. I'll do my best. Let's go ahead and equip that Langer wine blade before we forget. You can see it doesn't actually have a, an enchantment on it. It's just called the Langer wine blade. And it looks like a normal silver dagger. Okay, now let's inquire about this contract with the rest of our brothers and sisters, which I think I think they should talk about this, even though he said, you know, he wouldn't come to anyone else. Greetings, brother. I do hope you are well. I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're not actually going to give me any information about this contract. But let's check with one, maybe two more people. Hmm. By the way, some people were talking about the screen being extremely dark. And usually, actually, can I change that right now? Is there a brightness here? Uh, not there. Video? Brightness. Okay. That's a little bit better. Yeah, and then I don't have to edit it so much in post-production. Okay, well hopefully this is a little bit better, but uh, when it was super dark, it was super dark for me as well. So it's not like you guys were missing out on stuff that I wasn't missing out on. But uh, this should be a bit better. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I know what you're thinking. Oh, this guy can tell me about my contract. What? Fake a death? And you can't even kill the enforcer? Huh. I don't envy you, friend. But a contract's a contract. Just do what you've got to do. Okay, that offered no help whatsoever, but thank you very much, Happy Mr. Orc. Hunting, my brother. Okay, looks like some of them will tell me about my contract, which is interesting, because Ochiva didn't, and usually they all do. Makes me want to check back again with Ochiva, but for now... Let's head to the living quarters and see what everybody else has to say. Oh, brothers. Oh, sisters. Could use some help here. Hi. Yes, dearest brother. Yeah, tell me about my contract. I once slept in the Coral Chapel under Croft. It's damp, cold, and cursed. Getting Motty Air out of there may be a challenge. Now that is insightful. I appreciate that. Okay, Good luck, thank you brother. very much. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> and what about you, cat? I assume you're still not going to say anything useful. You again. Yeah. Away I hope you have lots of nightmares, cat. and I hope this rat uh, murders you in your sleep. What a disc. My fur is much better than yours, and prettier, you asshole. Ah, dear friend, may I steal a moment of your time? I have a rather delicate situation I was hoping you could help me with. Oh, right. This is a personal matter, and will have no bearing on your standing within the Dark Brotherhood. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Tell me more. I find your decision most agreeable. Now the details. Far south of here, on the southern end of Cyrodiil, lies a swamp called Bogwater. Hiding in that swamp, you will find an Argonian shadow scale named Scartail. Kill this renegade, and bring me his heart as proof of the deed. I totally forgot about Tainava's side quest. Right, okay, interesting. Tell me about Scartail. When Ochiva and I trained with the Dark Brotherhood as children, we befriended another initiate, a shadow scale by the name of Scartail. The three of us were inseparable. When our training was completed, we reluctantly parted ways. But now... Now, the unthinkable has happened. 
witch Scartail has fled Black Marsh and refuses to fulfill his duties as a royal assassin. This is an act of treason. This treachery must be punished. Just as a member of the Dark Brotherhood cannot kill a fellow family member, a Shadow Scale is forbidden from slaying another Shadow Scale. That is why you must go to Bogwater and eliminate that treacherous snake. Please kill Scartail so Chiva and I can put this matter behind us. Wouldn't that make him not a Shadow Scale, though? And then couldn't you kill him? But sure. Tell me about my contract, though. The Enforcer will not appreciate your little show. He'll likely attack you on sight, but you must resist the urge to fight back. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Chinava. I will help you, you out. Walk always in the shadow of Cephas, dear brother. I'll do my best. Okay, let's check one more time with Ochiva because it's quite odd that everybody's telling me about my contract except for Ochiva. And I would like to get her input. Hi. Greetings. Oh, but you can tell me about Scartail. Scartail is a traitor to Argonia and a blight upon Tamriel. Kill him as my brother requests, and we will be forever in your debt. Okay, it's quite interesting that she's not telling us about our contract, but... Your family member and may the night mother... Let's actually switch gears over to Tainava's quest. I am remembering this now. The Renegade Shadow Scale. I must journey to the southeastern tip of Cyrodiil to a swamp known as Bogwater. There I will find a Renegade Shadow Scale known as Scartail. I must kill Scartail and return his heart to Tainava. And if I remember right, things aren't as simple as they would seem. Now, our current best weapon is definitely Sufferthorn. Although, I would like to use... Actually, let's go back to the bow. I would much prefer to increase our Marksman than our Blade, even though they both are our major skills. So, let's try to use the bow as much as possible. So, back outside to Shaden Hall. And let's take a look at where this is taking us. If I remember right... Oh. Wow. Okay, well, if you have Deep Score and Hollow installed, <laughs> it helps you get to Bogwater much quicker. Okay, let's head to Deep Score and Hollow. This is a player home DLC that we have not messed with just yet. I've arrived at Deep Score and Hollow. I should make my way inside the hidden lair. Not yet, I'm afraid. Not just yet. Oh, Nernroot. Nice. Okay, so we have to be the, on the lookout for Scartail. Obviously, he's a Shadow Scale, so... Again, with everything else that we've done thus far... In our oblivion, I see that Nern root over there. Um, I'm really good at spotting Nern roots. Ah, uh, why did I say that? Now every time I see, I, I miss one. You guys are gonna point it out and say, "Remember when GV said he was good at spotting Nern roots?" I'm decent, okay. There we go. Oh no, a mud crab. Oh boy, mud crab. Do you know what you got yourself into? I guess not. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty decent at spotting Nern roots, so I don't think I should miss too many. A bunch of people thought one was uh, a Nern root in. Where were we? I think Chain Hall, but no, it was grass clipped into the wall a while back. Uh, but yeah, you just need to look at the coastlines, basically. And keep an eye out for that bright blue root. Okay, so we're coming up on the camp now. We definitely need to save beforehand. As I was saying earlier, everything is much difficult, much more difficult now that we're on a higher difficulty. So we do need to be careful. We have found Bogwater. I keep pressing C to crouch. <laughs> Because I've been playing a lot of player unknown, as I've said before. Um, actually, does C do C? C goes into third person. I could make it control, and then it would be the same. No, no. Let's just keep it like this. Okay, let's save the game. This guy could very well kill me. But who knows? I think we should talk to him first. I think he will have an audience with us. I, I guess I've been expecting you, assassin. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. Your dark brotherhood through and through. Correct. Let me guess. It was Ochiva, right? No, wait. Uh, Tainava. Yes, he put you up to this, didn't he? Ochiva was always too busy to even be bothered. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian Royal Court already sent an agent to do the job. He failed, of course, 
His body's around here somewhere. But he got him a pretty good hit. If I don't get some rest, I'm probably dead anyway. So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> you let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Die, traitor. Ha! I expected as much from my dark brotherhood lapdog. I may not survive this fight, but I'll not make it easy for you. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Come on, buddy. You gotta be closer than that if you're gonna hope to hit me with a sword. Let's go. Scartail has been killed. I must now return to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Shaden Hall and present his heart to Tainaba. Yeah, you were right, actually. You were pretty easy to take down, gotta say. I'm gonna go ahead and take your heart and the gold. Now, you said there was a treasure around here somewhere. Your iron longsword isn't much of a treasure. I have attained the Argonian's heart. I must now return to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary to Chaden Hall and present it to Tainaba. Yeah, I know. So, I wonder if we could find said treasure. Let's obviously look at uh, his camp first and foremost. He's got a bed there. And here's a hollowed out rock. Wow, buddy! Way to hide that. <laughs> Not difficult at all. Now, he did say the agent's body was somewhere close. And I remember... I think I usually agree to lie to Tainaba, uh, just because I usually play good characters, and one of the main comments was about how, in my old Oblivion Let's Play, was about how, oh, I say that I play good characters, yet I join the Dark Brotherhood. Well, I'm not going to do a Let's Play of Oblivion, not join the Dark Brotherhood, even if I'm playing a good character. But anyways, this time around, we're playing a more morally ambiguous character, so we can do this. Um, but... Yeah, usually I agree to just pretend to take the heart back and let this guy live. I don't remember exactly where the body is, and I don't think he has much, but he does have an Argonian heart that I would like to take. Probably already passed it like three times, and all the comments are going to say how I passed his body over and over again. But I can't much see him in the rain. So, let's try sleeping. What time is it? 10? Let's wait 12 hours. That should brighten up the day, and then we can look around and try to find this Argonian agent. I don't think, he, like I said, I don't think he has anything of interest on his body, but he does have an Argonian heart that I would like to take to store, just because it's sort of like a unique item that you can't really find all that well. Where is his body? I forget. I know it's like around this circle. It's not, it's not too far. If I can't find it in like a minute, I'll just give up. We can always return to Bogwater and find it anyways. Where is it? I forget where it is. It's like in the brush somewhere, if I remember right. I know there actually is a body. I don't think it despawns if we... Oh, there it is. Yes, dead Argonian agent. Okay, cool. So he has a silver dagger, uh, which we will take, and leather armor, and that's it. And no heart. I guess the heart despawns if you take Scartail's heart. Okay, um, we're going to return, actually, and turn in this quest. Usually, when I'm playing a, an open-world RPG like Oblivion, if I have multiple quests to return to one specific area, so in this case, oh, uh, the main contract plus this quest, usually I complete them both and then return. But in this case, I'm 99% sure that um, we can still return it after we return with the contract. But just to be completely sure, I want to turn this in First, so that we don't miss out on this reward because if I remember right I'm not gonna spoil uh, so I'm not gonna spoil what the reward is but it's quite interesting if I do remember right so Tainava should be in the living quarters and right around here Tainava ha ah, yes that is an Argonian heart of that I'm sure you have slain Scartail. Well done. Please, take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. Except I won't, because they will take away my full set of armor. The same armor that you're wearing, but we'll take a look at it. 
Uh, Scartail. Scartail was once as a brother to me and Ochiva. But his act of treason destroyed any vestige of that relationship. His death was well deserved. I love that the the break in the May relationship is because he didn't want to kill somebody. He didn't want to murder. Oh, look, there's Talendril. We can actually ask her about our uh, contract for once. Hello, brother. It okay, I tell me about all this stuff first. This is the person that I was talking about that always leaves. Remember, timing is everything. You need to slash Motieri with the blade in Hides' heart's presence, and then flee before the Enforcer can react. That is actually a good piece of advice May there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for that compliment, or thank you for that well wish, because actually, yeah, I, I don't know if you know this, but I do use arrows, so I hope that they strike through... Strike true too. Okay, where's Ochiva? Greetings, bro. Wait, wait, wait. What'd you I've, say? I've heard some talk. This past year, some family members have been found murdered. Could there be an assassin among assassins? Oh my God! Who would have? Who would have thought? Scartail now lies with the worms of Bogwater, thanks to you. I am forever indebted to you, brother. No problem. Okay, see you guys later. Alrighty. I know I'm talking to a lot of people um, in this playthrough thus far, and I hope you guys don't mind it. Uh, usually when I ask whether I'm streaming or whether I'm playing a Let's Play, uh, usually when I ask if you guys would like to see more or less dialogue, the majority is usually more. There is definitely a strong minority that says less, but the majority seems to be more. So hopefully you guys appreciate talking about Scartail with everybody. Uh, it is interesting to me, and I hope that it's interesting to you guys as well. All right, so let's actually head to the Imperial City Market District because we need to repair our armor. We have, like, no armor rating at the moment, and that just will not do. Looks like we've arrived here at... Uh, darkness in darkness so the imperial legion everybody seems to be saying that the persuasion wheel is really easy like everybody as i mentioned i've just never used it because again as i mentioned a million times i've actually used you know um the voice of the emperor so i've never really had to learn how to use this as bad as that sounds so i want to see because this better be good a lot of people were telling me that uh it was easy as if i didn't know how it works but i'm pretty sure i understand how it works so i'm gonna basically talk my way through one round of this, and if I'm incorrect, again, I'll look at the comments and see, but like I said, I've just never really used this, so that's why I had uh, mis misconstrusions? No. Um, that's why, well, you know what I mean. That's why I I didn't really trust this wheel all that much. So, so we, as soon as, okay, so again, I'm just going to walk through this, and if I'm wrong, let me know, because I'm pretty sure I know how it works. I'm just not good at it. Uh, so as soon as I press start... Yeah, we'll have like four, you know, segments here and we want to get the smallest segments on the ones that he dislikes the most and we want to get the biggest segments on the one that he likes the most. I mean, that's, yeah, I, I know that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, we look at his face and uh, let's see, this is the one that he likes or dislikes the, the most. So, we want to, I guess, what does he like the most? He likes this the most. So, we'll do this one first. You're we'll wasting reduce it your a bit. breath. Then we'll do this one because he likes this one the no, most. You do me too much honor. And then we'll go over here. Remark. And then like You're that. Revolting. So that did increase his dis uh, disposition by about. I think he started around thirty. So that did increase his disposition to around forty-two. So I, I mean, I know that's how it's done. Like I think a lot of people when I talked about this wheel didn't thought that I didn't know how it worked. I know that's how it works. I just it just always seems like it takes too long. Uh, let's try it one more time. Oh, and I guess the yeah, I guess the good thing about it is then you know what. Um... What a wonderful compliment. Okay, so we definitely want, don't want to do that there. Um, let's go over here. Remarkable. Then here. You should be it. Then here. Is that so? So we did raise it a bit. Okay, so it's not as difficult, not as useless as I as I would have thought. That's right. But exactly. <laughs> that's on. right. Exactly. But I still don't like it. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys swore by it. But I, I knew how it worked. It's not like I didn't know how it worked. It's just that I've never really liked to use it. And I've always had a bunch of gold. So it's just like 
bribe, 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 bribe. Okay, we're done here. Uh, also, another thing I was wrong about was apparently Khajiits don't have any hits to their disposition. Um, it's really only like orcs and oh, Argonians, I think, well and maybe one time. more. How goes it? So, I yeah, I think our race does matter in terms of other races, but as far as like the standard NPCs, they don't Not look down on us. Uh, that's only for, I yes. think, Argonians and orcs. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's head to the fighting chance, and uh, I forget what her name is, but she should be able to repair our armor. What do you want? What? I thought you liked me. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's try this again. All right, so uh, she likes this one the most, and she likes this one the least, so not we'll do now, that there. Not later. Not ever. Okay, shut up. Need to, need to look at your face. Okay, let's do this. Really? And then let's do that, and then let's do that. I like that. Okay, yeah, that okay, that is easier than I would have thought. And apparently once our speech raises to a certain level, we can actually like rotate the wheel. It's one of the perks, you know? So that is easy. Okay. So I see what you guys are talking about. Yeah. I've just never really used this thing. That's right. Exactly. I'm pretty handy. What okay. needs to be fixed? Okay. Repair all. Yeah. I think I said that this was um the the amount that we would have to pay to repair all, but that's that's our total gold. So repair all for three gold. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good to me. I have friends visiting soon. Wonderful, that's great. Okay, let's try this one more time I'm just listening. to see if I'm getting better. Uh, okay, so we want to do this one. Don't waste your flattery on me. And then I guess I already messed up kind of for this one, really? but that. Interesting. And then this one. Where'd you get that? That's. And then you that can't scare me. Yeah, I messed up a little bit there. We we ended up at the same place Bye. that we started, but okay. Yeah, I see how it works now. Alrighty, so our stuff is repaired. We are good to go. Let's equip the Langer Wayne, the Langer Wine blade again, and go back to the Dark Brotherhood, the assassinated man. We have to go to Coral, which, as far as all the quests, I, they don't seem to take you to Coral too often. Maybe I'm just wrong, but Coral seems like the one overall town. That, uh, oh, actually, no. I, I think the same thing happened last time we were here. But I remember what Coral is for now. Um, anyways. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for Motieri. And here's Francois Motieri's house. And I don't think he ever... I think it's always a hard lock. So let's try this. Okay, not too bad. Getting decent. Oh, well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides' Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you, so you can fake my death. By Sith, spit it out, you worm. Oh, sorry. Please, I'm sorry. See, when Hides' heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. Then you cut me with the knife, and it looks like I die. You must then flee from Coral, and Hides' his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Now is not the time. I didn't talk to you. Motieri, I know you're in there. My employers are most displeased. I'm coming in, and you can beg for your life. Not that we'll do you any good. <laughs> Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Huh? Who is this? Motieri has been slashed with the Langerwein... Lang what do I keep calling that? Langerwein blade and appears to have died from the wound as expected. I must now flee from Coral and leaves Hides his heart alive. Yeah. See you, nerd! Okay, I think Hides his heart chases us. Or maybe not. 
Okay, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will deal with the rest of this quest. I'm having a blast playing this game. It's bringing back so many memories and so much nostalgia, and we're just getting started. So, hope you guys are enjoying this too. Well, I know you guys are, because you're all leaving absolutely wonderful comments, and I love reading them. So, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.